It's 914. We're going to start your first alert forecast with a forecast for the game tonight. The Dodgers are in town. That's a live look from downtown in Chase Field. First pitch tonight is at 640. If you're going to head downtown, maybe grab uh, some dinner or a drink before the game. 5 o'clock, 108, our hottest part of the day, and it's going to be a hot one out there. 106 by 6 p.m. They will have the roof closed for tonight's game. 96 by 10 p.m. Maybe you're flying out. It's a big holiday weekend, a big uh, weekend for travelers. We got a few sprinkles right now in the Valley. Valley Metro area. They're not actually at the airport. They're east and northeast of there. It's currently 91 degrees, so no delays in or out of Sky Harbor. In fact, no major delays in most spots across the country. Here's a look at the current conditions in these spots. I will tell you one spot that's not on this map. The one spot we're seeing some delays this morning. It's San Francisco. Pretty thick fog this morning in San Fran. Here is a live look outside the valley. No fog here. We got a 48 degree dew point and a 91 degree temperature, so that's quite the spread between those two showing us. We've got some dry air in place. That being said, it's been raining this morning in parts of town. We've had some very light rain out in Mesa, still hovering right here along the 202 and the north loop of the 101 actually had a rain report just in of five one hundredths of an inch. So a brief little uh, downpour there and uh, now we're starting to see that rain ease up just a bit. So there's not a lot out there, but very isolated in nature. Some scattered showers across eastern Arizona. No big thunderstorms right now. We got some light shower activity on the I-40 between Kingman and Flagstaff and the rest of the state is quiet, but not for long. Our models are showing us as we head to the afternoon hours. We're going to see some storms and those could impact you. If you've got travel plans today, maybe you're going to get out of work or school and head north or east and likely you're going to run into some rain at some point if that is your timeline for travel today. Storms try to descend into the deserts of the state. They're not going to have much luck holding together. Very slim chances for storms in the valley tonight. We do have a slight chance tomorrow, though. A few sprinkles possible in the morning again. Then this model is hinting that well, these storms may make it down into the lower elevations tomorrow night. I'm going to put it overall at about a 10% chance, but there is that chance for your Saturday night here in the valley. Something to keep in mind if you're going to the ASU game tomorrow night. Home opener in the high country tomorrow. Very active day of storms. Sunday is going to look very similar. If you are planning activities in the high country, this weekend, get them in outside in the morning hours because the afternoons are looking uh, pretty stormy. Here's a, a quick glance for you at tomorrow evening. It does show some very isolated storms around the Valley Metro area. Let's talk about the high country forecast. Saturday, Sunday, looking active with storms uh, in the uh, Flagstaff area today. Slight chance of storms as well. Monday really is not going to be an active day. We're going to see quiet conditions for your Labor Day. Temperatures going to be in the 80s the next couple of days in Payson. Upper 70s, low 80s for the Grand Canyon and Sedona. Storm chances are decent Saturday and Sunday, but again, not on Monday as we get some drier air in here. 110 for today in the Valley 108 Saturday, Sunday and into Monday. Other than that slight chance of storms tomorrow night, I think we're going to stay dry around here next week. Actually, looks like we're going to climb with those temperatures. Thank you.